Hi there. It's January the 22nd, and in today's Torah reading in Genesis, we find, having enjoyed Joseph's hospitality in Egypt, the brothers are on their way home and find to their horror that they have their money returned again in their sacks. Not only that, but the youngest, Benjamin, has the cup or of the king in his sack. Uh, the servants of Joseph overtake them and accuse them of this, and they swear there's, there's no one got that money or that cup in their sacks, and then they find their horror that they have, and it's Benjamin, the youngest, the one who's most beloved of his father, who has the cup in his sack. So in fear, they return to Joseph in Egypt. They then plead with Joseph. In fact, uh, they they bow down before him and offer themselves as bond slaves. Joseph says he's not prepared to take them as bond slaves, only the one who has the cup in his sack, which of course is Benjamin. What's interesting at this point is that it's Judah, the brother Judah, who offers himself for Benjamin, offers to become a slave in place of Benjamin to save his father's uh, faith his father's life because he says if he goes back if they go back without Benjamin his father will die uh, of grief and it's interesting that it's Judah who offers himself in this way because back in Genesis 37 it's Judah who suggests that they sell Joseph to the slave traders in fact he says what gain is it what profit is it that we kill Joseph we can make some money out of this by selling him into slavery but it's Judah who presents himself. It's Judah who offers to give himself as the ransom for Benjamin so that his father is saved the grief. It's significant perhaps that Jesus is of the tribe of Judah. He is the one who makes himself a ransom for our sins. And when Messiah comes, he comes as a descendant of this one who saw the error of his ways and who offered himself to save his youngest brother and his father's grief. Have a good January the 22nd.